What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the strip. Coffee Talk app. You already know who it is. It's your boy Big Dean. Shout out to all my subscribers, new and old. All my supporters, new and old. Again, if you want to do any help or support for the channel, cash at me at dollar sign S S H A R P E R two Zero. Dollar sign S S H A R P E R two Zero to support the channel grow. Also to support the children's line of clothes that's coming behind this channel for the boys and girls. So, let me, uh, y'all know I usually just jump right in. But I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable. I'm feeling a little bit more family oriented with my, uh, cyber family. So, I'm going to start taking my time a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. To uh, Browning for continually showing dialogue in the comment section and giving feedback and your opinion or agreeance on what's being talked about. Um, again, shout out to Yaya and his family because Yaya, Yaya watches, he engages, and I support you and your family, brother. So let me let me let me ask you something. What is I'm trying to get this correct. What exactly <coughs> whoa <coughs> <clears throat> what exactly is your inspiration? What's inspirational to you? How is it helping you? You see, because we pick and choose and then we justify. <clears throat> so I, a person will say something like, well, don't nothing inspire me. Don't nothing influence me. But that's a lie. Everyone's inspired and influenced by multiple different things and levels of the such. So, you have to know what's inspirational before you can allow yourself to be inspired by it. You have to do some due diligence here before you say or give credence to certain things that you would consider positive, structured, strong, inspirational, or influential. I'm saying that because I hear a lot of people say and talk about that, oh, 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 people got my back or I'm 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 cool and this. But you're not because if the person that you're valuing or holding up as your inspiration is not in forward or not higher in uh, societal spaces and in education, then it shouldn't be inspirational to you. How do the, how do the guy who equal to you at work how do he inspire you because he can say some poetry? Y'all punching the same broke ass clock. How do your cousins, big brothers, uncles, aunts, mama, daddy, whoever that you simply trying to deem as being great How are they inspiring you or influencing you when they're not great? My whole life, I've only been inspired and allow inspiration and influence to come from great things. People who are great. Words that were 
comprised greatly. Inspirational phrases. Art. Music. Never once letting it dictate, decide, or give me direction, though. See, I'm not going to sit back here and bullshit y'all and lie and, and just point the finger and say, well, hip-hop, that music forced me to do this and forced me to do that. Because before listening to it on your own and absorbing all of the messaging, you were growing up at home. So is it safe to say, or is it fair to say, if you leaned that direction, that your mom, dad, or whoever was responsible for upbringing you, they weren't great, they weren't inspirational, and they were bad influences, is that fair to say? Or should one be a kind of and say, well, you know, I leaned over here on my own. Now, be careful because there's a thin line and a slippery slope right here when you do that. When you do that, you're going to hurt your own feelings, and I hope that you do. Because you'll find out that you're only inspired by what you're allowing to inspire you. You're only being influenced by what you're allowing to influence you. And in most cases, you're being inspired and influenced by things that you're inviting to influence and inspire you. You didn't hear me. In most cases, you're inviting the very things that's inspiring and influencing you. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. You see, some of y'all don't hear me because you distracted. What you distracted by? You're distracted by the one brother who said, well, you're not a good influence because you're smoking doing your videos. Here's the thing. Now, this is where the people who know me and been watching my videos know that I'm also going to have to lay a shit stain on myself <clears throat> within right here, right now. First of all, if you, a grown ass man, was watching me and had to say, well, you're not a good role model. Then clearly, you're a child of mine. Sit your ass down and shut the fuck up and watch these videos. You hear me? Sit down, shorty. You're too small. Now, I'm a short guy, but you see where you measure at? Sit your stupid ass down. You see, I'm not trying to be a role model. Actors and actresses play a role. Models show things and stand still and you just look at them. But you're not looking at the model. You're looking at what the model is modeling unless it's a nude model. Okay, so don't play these word games. You hear me? Don't play the word games. When you got the CD that you say make you feel like, huh, ooh, when I listen to this, I want to go outside and, mm, mm. I want to hit a nick. You allowed that. You allowed that energy, that very energy. As a matter of fact, you, you actually invoked it because your thought, you wanted that. It helped aid that feeling. So now you lay justification to the music. When you go out here and do some old stupid fuck shit. Now I'm not saying the music don't influence. I'm not saying the music don't influence the youth and these people. What I'm saying is. Look at who's saying these things. 
and how they're being said. Because again, I can assure you, I've never listened to a song and that song made me want to go and do something to somebody because of what the artist said on the song. That's the weakness in you. My sisters, just because you had a bad relationship, don't keep talking about men ain't shit. No, the men you picking ain't shit because you probably ain't shit. Fix yourself too before you keep pointing fingers at us. Because ain't shit is subjective. It's like, you know, that's very subjective. Very subjective. And you'll start to learn this the more you study over, enter, and understand things that a lot of the shit that we point at each other and has been divided with and we use against each other is bullshit Could because it apply to both people. The person you're pointing it at and yourself. So when you hear women say, oh man, I, I stopped dating because shit, shit, I couldn't find a good man. What's a good man to you? Oh, my standards too high. Your standards weren't too high. You know what happened? You couldn't meet the standards you set for yourself because you didn't get that man because you didn't place yourself in a situation to get that kind of man. You want a banking guy, a guy who can take care of you. But in the same sentence, you're independent. I thought you were supposed to meet halfway. I thought you wanted a guy who was sort of equal or greater than you. So he likes to do the things you do, or maybe not, because they say opposites attract. Although I find that to be very hard to believe, because if you're opposite of me, I'm not attracted to you. Period. I'm in art. If you in the TV, we ain't attractive to each other. I don't give a fuck what you look like. I'm in the fashion. If you dress like a hag, we not going to get along. I also get tired of people talking that shit. Oh, beauty is, is in the eye of the beholder. True indeed. But it still don't mean that I can't say that this person ugly. This person fat. This person skinny. This one's unattractive. This one look old. It don't mean that you don't have the right to state what the fuck you feeling. You know, look, let me tell you something. Now, I'm just speaking according to how society based shit. So I'm going to say it like this so it's layman terms so you can understand. Now, I'm not sitting here saying I'm America's next male top model. By far. And in everyone's case, I would hope that you believe that you're beautiful. But the true reality is everybody don't see things the same. To somebody, I'm ugly as shit. To some women, I'm very unattractive because of my height. To some women, I'm ugly as hell because I got locks. You hear me? I'm cool with all of that, though. I'm cool with all of that. I'm gonna fuck if I don't care about none of that. Because I know it. See, y'all so empty, uninspired, and incorrectly influenced. That you're so uncomfortable with yourselves that you spend the majority of your time hating yourself, but also trying to wear a mask, a charade, and a facade for others to not see you. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. Somebody lost. What I'm saying is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm, mm, mm. That's some damn good coffee right there. Ooh, Look. You have to pay attention. <coughs> <clears throat> very close attention to what you're consuming 
be it visually, audibly, or orally, maybe food-wise, you know, and shit, sexually-wise, too. Because a lot of y'all open y'all fucking mouth for everything and be talking most shit. I'm vegan. Oh, I'm so conscious. Sucking every dick that walk past you. Talking about he got on the unk. What? Then you got the brothers. Got all this, 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 the brass wrapping jewelry and these onks and these crystals on. Misusing the ladies because you approaching them with, with a lit tongue. And to an unfamiliar ear, that lit tongue can occupy space in her mind long enough for you to occupy space in her. But under the wrong influence. With abstract inspiration. And backwards direction. Exactly how inspirational is your inspiration? Pay close attention to what you consume because <coughs> <coughs> on multiple levels, you are what you eat. You become what you consume <clears throat> on multiple levels. You see, you lend blame to hip hop <clears throat> because that's all you listen to. Or is it? Because I don't hear nobody saying that R&B made them go kill their husband or their wife. When R&B would be the catalyst to do such because it's tugging at your heart. You would have no choice but to think about that motherfucker who was shitting on your ass and then you would want to go get him. I don't hear nobody talking about what well, country music made me go shoplift. Then I'm tired of you all assuming and putting this on yourselves. You keep talking about our people, our people, our people. You know why people talk about our people? <clears throat> Let me give you a couple tidbits on my way about the dough. People talk about our people because our people give them reason to talk about them. I don't hear about, I'm not saying it don't exist. I don't hear about Country music artists beefing with country music artists publicly. <clears throat> now, it could be in their songs. It could. I don't listen to a lot of it. I do like some. As well as all music. But I don't hear blues artists. Jazz musicians. You barely hear of the R&B artists. And more recently, because they've blended y'all together and they call y'all R&B hip hop. Because y'all singing and rapping and rapping and singing and, and you know, y'all haven't stood up for yourselves yet. Why y'all all keep talking about you getting this money, you getting this money. Well, why don't y'all foundate yourselves then with all the money? Let me give you a hypothetical. How much would it really cost? Because I see artists put studios in their homes. So, this, this, how much, if these artists really gave a fuck or if this shit was how y'all think it is, just put five of your top artists together who you know got a studio in their home. Why don't they have a record company? It wouldn't be hard. Don't let them tell you it would be hard. All you have to do is start it, fund it, and push it. That's it. 
Fuck competition. If your people with you, you will blow the rest of the companies out the way. And if they wanted to go to war, we would do what's necessary to get the shit done. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So you're sitting back being inspired by what? Do LeBron inspire you? You know who LeBron inspires? The young man who's coming up and wants to be a ball player. Which is the only person he really should be inspiring. Unless you do philanthropy. Other than that, what is he inspirational to you for? How? Or hold on, hold on. Is 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 Floyd Mayweather inspirational to you? Why? How? Oh, you're inspired because he made money. This nigga made his own money though. He made money for him and his family. Boxing. Entertaining you though. While he was entertaining you doing something he liked to do, you failed to complete your role into doing what you wanted to do. So yeah, let me let me clear this up for the knucklehead right now who's sitting there saying, well, what about you? Do you do what you, are you rich? And I've never, ever, ever wanted to be rich and lonely, ever. I've never wanted that. I've always just wanted that space to do what I please, when I please, how I please. Of course you would have to make the money to do that, but I'm not putting you in my business. This YouTube. I'm also going to tell y'all to be extra careful with some of this YouTube shit. Be careful. Of fake inspiration. And you allowing yourself to be inspired by it. You can control whatever goes on in your life. I know it. I'm a living testament to it. It's factual. But furthermore, it's truth. So there's an idiot that's right there that just said, well, truth and fact is the same thing. And you could be no wronger than a male with a backwards bra on his lower back. Truth and fact are two different things. Y'all out here screaming that all the time. Facts. Facts. Yada, yada, yada. Facts. All subjectory and opinionated. The magic is in the shit that you say, how you use them words. So you got to be careful what's inspirational to you or what you call inspirational. Is it just a good feeling? So you inspired? You can't identify what it inspired you to do. You don't identify when something's influencing you one way or the other. That's what I mean. See, I came on YouTube to talk to the adults. Because that's what I operate around. Yeah, I have children. And I, 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 I be around children. As a matter of fact. 
I was recently at one of the neighborhood elementary schools. I was having a ball too. I had a nice time. I wish I could. I'm gonna try to get the footage for y'all. Reading to the youngsters, I was, the young kids outside. It was having a little harvest celebration. They was painting um, pumpkins and they had pomegranates and and story time and you know, as usual. It was just me and one other male. I wish I knew his name. I, could, I wish I could remember his name because I would put his name out here for his energy. You know what I mean? And, and my support for his energy. Because those are the things that should be deemed inspir inspirational. Those are the things you should consume and say, wow. So a grown man took time out of his day just to go read to some young kids at, at an elementary school in his community? Why? Why? Because you know what those young bodies were saying? <coughs> Who was this? <coughs> Who was this male? His pants are on. His pants are up. His voice is strong. He's masculine. But all in that same, he has structure. We can see his strength. He commands us with his voice and his action. But in that same bubble, he's compassionate toward us. He's nurturing. He's calm. He's sensitive to us. That's what the kids saw. He's entertaining. He's fun. That's inspirational. Those are the things that stick in the mind of young kids. And young minds. So if they got an abundance of that, it would become things that they naturally did. They would want to read to their siblings, which would help aid and take the stress off in home teaching of some of these things because everyone's sharing the load because everyone is learning how. Mom and dad don't think they way up here and, and don't deserve to, to communicate in a certain way with children because that shit is stupid as hell. If you bougie to your children, you need your ass whooped. Sisters, now you know, I'm a, I'm a fair guy. I talk to my brothers all the time. I shit on us all the time, bros, because I'm one of us and shit. We fell in a lot, in a lot of different areas. But at the same time, our women is right along with us in this fight. Don't look, look, look. Don't let society get you all fucked up. Black women love black men. Black men love black women. But let me be honest with you. Women love men, and men love women. Of course, you. I'm look. I'm speaking to. Not um, this is what I'm saying. Don't take this shit out of context. Don't get in your feelings. Don't say, well, I'm LGBT. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking clear, fundamental, straight, up and down, procreating man, woman, child, boom. The extra things are your extracurricular thoughts and, and practices that's on you. So what I'm saying is these are the things that's inspirational. Other things that's, that's inspirational is when you do things for other people. Like if you got up with the intent and what was on your mind, now, I'm not talking to the old goofy nigga who got to go punch the clock. 
I'm talking to the dudes who are free. Whether it be because you done went to prison too many times and can't get a job, or for whatever the reason is, you got free time. So if you got up and solely thought about yourself, your day was already going to fail. Now, you may think it didn't fail because you didn't have no bumps and bruises, you didn't go to jail, you know, the old regular goofy shit that you would think made it a good day. But no, that's not all. See, when you wake up with the intention and your first thought is what you about to do for somebody else. What can you do to make someone else's day become lit? I'm not talking about in context to how the young people use lit because what they don't know is that if they use that word with a little purity, a little direction, and a little energy added with that, you know, some magic. It would work and it would manifest a whole nother type of energy and power for them. I'll get into that in another video. So, inspiration. So is the, the neighborhood mechanic your inspiration? Because you grew up watching him fix shit, fix cars, and you learned how to fix cars, so he inspired you to fix cars. What about the, uh, the neighborhood painter? Did he inspire you? The gardening lady down the street, did she inspire you? What about the mailman who you went to school with his kids? But this guy happens to be the mail guy in your neighborhood. <clears throat> Did he inspire you? Did you talk to the black owned store owner the, behind the counter when you went in to get your stuff? Did he inspire you? Hmm. You see what I mean? You pick and choose. You control what's inspirational and influential to you. None of those people inspired you because you didn't want it. Be inspired by it. You rather bypass all of them, go turn on videos, and the radio, and try to live the artificial life. I'm here to try to tell you guys something. Let me drop a gem on y'all. Any of y'all who know, because if you know, you know. If I was you, I would invest in this metaverse situation that's going on right now. I'm just saying. Think about what I'm saying, and then you run that back after we get finished. So yeah. Since you pick and choose these things, you have to look at yourself in the, in the mirror. And like in the last video, if you go watch it, you have to make yourself mad. Make yourself get mad because you ain't shit. That's what I had to do. Trust me, I told you I'm an open book. So I have no problem telling you about what you would consider failures or down things or bad. Look, man, life is life. Everybody go through shit. Millionaires go through shit. They slip and break their fucking ankles and do shit the same way you do. Y'all are so fucked up, you think that rich people or wealthy people or celebrities, as y'all call them, because I don't celebrate people uh, that I didn't choose needed to be uplifted. You understand? So... You, 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 you pick and choose all types of things and lay blame elsewhere. So now it's just time to start being mad at yourself. 
Because like I stated before, I came on YouTube to talk to the adults. We keep talking about the young people this and the young people that. We the ones that got the young people like that, then they ran with it. So I'm not saying we responsible solely. What I'm saying is we were inspirational and influential in all the wrong ways, obviously. So those of us who are still able, right mind, body still functional, and is able, then yeah. Let's shift the narrative and correct what's going on. We got the power. This ain't about no, no broad situation, man. This is just simple. All we got to do is start doing this shit. We just got to start being the way that we want to be. What we're saying. We have to start doing that. Y'all ain't y'all ain't hearing me, man. Y'all niggas still stupid as fuck. Still slow. Somebody might even turn this bitch off and get on back to doing what they was doing because you don't give a fuck. See, I, I all, all, always just made sure that I was inspired and influenced by greatness. All the best things. Or society-based best things. I didn't let nobody tell me, oh, that this 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 what you wearing this year because this was hot. This this the best artist out now. He going. No hell no. I control this vessel. I'm the one in here operating this. Therefore, I'm downloading whatever I want to this supercomputer on yours. Quit being inspired and influenced by all the wrong shit. Quit allowing it to dictate you. Go look yourself in the mirror. Tell yourself you weak as fuck. You being stupid as fuck. If you got kids, you ain't doing a discernment. Now, remember, I'll be hard on myself as well because I always tell y'all, I'm a parent of many, but I cover all spectrums. So I'm a not good father to some, a bad father to some or an absent one and a great father to others due to situations and how they went in different times and spaces I'm an open book but for those who are in the life yeah back to what I was saying look yourself in the mirror and tell your ass grown ups that